Oh, that's different. I mean, you know, it's like buying at 8 o'clock and next thing you know, it's morning. But hey, you know, I think I'm hooked up for the summer. Hooked up how? Well, after I left you guys in at the library and impressed Judge Marinacci, I think I might be in line for the clerkship. Well, those guys are all playing cards, you know. It's coming for me, who could be against me? I guess all of this is against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like a conflict. I know. I just call it nine. The reason it's not so. I mean, it's not a conflict of interest. I just call it nine. I mean, it's not even a fucked up move to work. I think it's not a conflict of interest. Neither one play games when swinging for them fences. We I'm need to find the games that are less expensive than right they hit a meet the first range or at a distance. If God's for me, you're the one who told me that she was my focus. I got my game from the Godfather. Yeah, I know. I got my first chain, rock bottom. And I never been as good as my mom's rock. Crossing with a gold chain. I got my Turkish rope with matching gold bangs. Bomber jacket in the winter. It's a cold game. I met some East Coast up in Spokane. Some of the realest in this dope game. I got my curly top looking like special ed. Clean fade on the side, bumping that red head. Clean tags when I ride, ducking the fed feds. East Coast, they get that break. We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Miami Dolphins and the Philadelphia Eagles. a punter Thomas Morstead to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field from the six and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. looking to throw it that's caught by the big tight end Dallas Goddard and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 an early statement on the game's first play 18 yards and a first down certainly no settling into the drive there they came right out on the first play attack the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down and the tight end goes in motion left on first and ten, it's Sanders. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. 19 seconds, 19 seconds. Now on second and 13, Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor, and he shows off the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Unlock right, unlock right, go Reed, go. Ready. Here's Sanders. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Now on second and 13. 
Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. 19 tight. 19 tight. Let's say 19. Hurts sets up to throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's right, the right, that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. On play action, they'll throw. Now the pressure gets there, and two is going to be taken down. Give that sack to the Kobe Dean. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sacked on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. On third and long, it's Tug of Iloa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Here's second and nine. They'll give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then execute it. In motion right is Wilson. On second and nine, Tua. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready up. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Tua once again here on second and 10. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. Again, they will throw it with Tug of Iloa. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. 
On second and ten. Tua. Open man is Waddle complete. And they'll get this down to the ten. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. His pass caught at the four. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away from the 10 and he'll get to the 30 yard line before going out of bounds already at the line this Philly offense set to go so both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. First target, first catch, and a first down. a handoff to Sanders and he is going to lose yardage here officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 we've hit the two minute mark of the first half all knotted up at seven second and 11 now throwing his hurts Open man has got it, the tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. Hurts. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Here's Hurts to throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now 
see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Elliott good on the extra point and that makes the score 14 to 7. touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away Hill going to think better of bringing this one out and the drive will start at the 25 Here we go. the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. From the 30 on second down, Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. In motion, Hill. Two and now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Hill. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Here we go, set. In motion, Hill. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And with one second left, they get the timeout, and they'll have a chance to kick the field goal before intermission. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they really have that type of response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. In motion right is Wilson. Throwing on second and long. Tua. 
He's got Wilson, middle of the field. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Mostert. And now Mostert is going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. In motion right is Wilson. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down on a well-designed play there. That gets him 16 to move the chains. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. In motion, Hill. Play action. Now it's Tua. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. In motion, Hill. Now a play fake. Here's Tugger by Lowe. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Tua on fourth down. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. I don't think there's any other way to put it, but that was just simply deflating because you know they came out ready to go at halftime, right? Everyone motivating each other, wanting to get out there and get going. And that turnover absolutely saps your momentum. Now you're just shouting encouragement to your defense, hoping they can pick you up and give you another chance. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful with this one. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Back to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. He'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did they drop, it looked like an interception in the end zone. They blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. 18-90. they will look to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Ready up. 
So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They could not convert, and they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard game. Off a of play action, Tonga Bailoa. Gets this one to Hill. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On play action, here's Tua. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Tua finding Gesicki there for a Dolphin first. A run with Mostert up the middle. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Here we go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll get this down only to the 18. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And the slot man goes in motion left. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He is going to find Hill here. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Once more into the hands of Hill. Touchdown, Dolphins! 
Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Well, partner, this hasn't been the smoothest day for him, but he certainly picked the right time to get right, as they like to say. How about that for a touchdown? Boy, he did. I guess they say all's well that ends well. It's not over yet, but you're right. He picked a good time for that first touchdown pass. Exactly right. Not over yet. The defense is going to have to make it hold up. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really... Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! Touchdown, Philadelphia! Wes Watkins, 66 yards. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. So minutes after giving up the lead in the fourth quarter, they say not so fast. Big play, and they grab that lead right back. Talk about a seesaw game. Up, down, up, down. Did you have a seesaw? Did you play that when you were kid? Oh, yeah. Huh? Out on the playground, absolutely. You had to make sure that you matched weight though on the other side. Though, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you could be up in the air a long time. By the way, we're not done in this one. I think we're set up for an exciting finish. For the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Here's Tua. Forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. 
as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down, back to Sanders. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop them on third down. In motion comes the tight end left. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And some room to maneuver. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Elliott good with a PAT. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. In motion, Hill. Now Tua. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but... That interception puts it in to any hopes that they have. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. Well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away.